Let's figure out what we get when we have one third to the sixth power. So how do we do that? Probably the best way to do this is to think of it like this, one to the sixth over three to the sixth. So we have one to the sixth over three to the sixth. That's the same thing as this one third to the sixth power. If you think about it like this, that we have one third times 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 one third, that's one third to the six. So all these ones, that's one to the six. And we're multiplying three, we get three to the six. That's why it's the same thing. But now we just say one to the six, that's just one. And three to the six, three times three, that's nine. Nine times three is 27. 27 times three is 81. 81 times three is 243. And 243 times three is 729. So when we write one third to the six as a fraction here, we get one 729th. This is really small, but think about it. You're taking a fraction of a fraction of a fraction and so on. So it should be a small number. That's it. This is Dr. B looking at one third to the sixth power. Thanks for watching.